Hello everyone and welcome back to a, another video and in today's video I'll be showing you how to get your guns let up fast during this double XP weekend happening in Cold War. This double XP weekend last 17th of December so there's some time for you guys to get on Cold War, get your levels, get them up fast and I'll be showing you tips and tricks to help you get that accomplished. Now the first tips and trick I'll be showing you is guard mode. Now guard mode can be done by in the machine getting the ethoscope built and by going into the zombie dance. Now to actually get into the zombie dance, you have to shoot these five orbs that can spawn. They always spawn these certain spots. So the first spawn is below elemental pop. It's just here. You can shoot this and you can move on. So your second spawn is between these terminals. Shoot this and get onto the next spawn. In the next spawn, you have to travel a little bit further onto the accelerator platform and will be directly on top of you above the barricade of zombies so if you shoot that make your way down to the bottom below pack a punch and in this little room but behind the barricade there is a blue orb shoot that and move on to the last orb this last orb spawns below the armor stand and it's well it's just here shoot that and a your screen will turn or some light flashes will appear and you will be entering the dark ether in the dark ether you want to make your way to the armor stand area and a blue orb will appear after picking up the ethoscope now you have to pick up the ethoscope for this so make sure you guys pick up the ethoscope once done hold square in this orb and stand in the corner of the room just make sure you guys are in the corner because apparently if you're not it fucks up the glitch just sit in the corner you'll be fine now let this play it will take 50 seconds you know depends on when you guys actually got the orb played but once this once the white flashes appear you want to make your way to the med bay Make your way up these stairs and sit here until you are out. Once out, you're in guard mode and you're basically invincible. So you do make the most of this. Now, I would recommend going up on Noct and chilling here with mates, with Solo, just getting them kills. Getting camos, just great for camos. Also good for leveling up guns and maybe by round 30, x because we all know after round 30, the leveling starts to decline. And you don't want to be stuck on the machine without getting your guns leveled up because it's very very boring so get this done and you'll be fine it's pretty easy it's just chilled it's good now my next tip will be playing a multiplayer casual domination now i i would say nuketown is a good mode to play but apparently it's been found that nuketown is actually not the fastest way to level up your guns the fastest way to level up your guns in multiplayer is playing a core domination playlist and just playing casual don't know why this is how it is, and it's a bit weird this year because the skill-based matchmaking is quite poo-poo. So if you guys do get a lot of kills, you guys can get level, level up your guns pretty fast. But I know skill-based matchmaking is a thing, and it may be a bit hard. Just play some multiplayer, try get some kills, and trust me, your guns will level up so fast during this double XP weekend. It's great. I would recommend trying to aim to 30 kills to 60 kills per game. If not... It's fine, but if you get to 30, 60 kills, you'll be leveling up your guns really fast. And I do think it's a good way to level up. Now, as I said before, Nuketown is a good way to level up, but they found, people found that it's around 1.25 XP bonus or something or some shit like that. That's how much you get from Nuketown. And then core players like Domination gives you 1.75 or 2 something, 2.0, something like that. That's probably not accurate, but that's roughly what I've heard. So, do you play Domination core plays, don't play Nuketown. I know Nuketown, you get more kills, but overall, Domination core is the way to go. It's faster, and it is the way to go. The next way to level up your guns fast, the next tip I have in this video, is playing Dimashina round 20 with randoms. Now, I do know it's laggy, and the servers on Cold War are so shit. Like, I was playing this Dimashina playlist. I lagged in this gameplay. You're going to see I'm lagging a lot, and... It's painful, but if you have mates and you all have stable connections, I guess I think you'll be fine, but you don't know if this Activision bullshit. Get in the game, get the round 20. You guys should all aim to like train in a certain area. Don't all like be camping because if you guys train in certain areas, all those zombies will come for you and it will make your life a bit easier. So make sure you guys are playing with friends. It will help you in the long run. Get them kills and round 20, it will extra and you get a lot of XP. And during double XP, I've probably, I probably got up to 20 levels per game doing this. So this is definitely a good way to get your guns leveled up fast. And in around an hour, you'll be flying through these levels like butter. You'll be literally flying through these levels like butter. What the hell? 
Just don't worry, you'll be flying through these levels. You'll be great, you'll be golden. Played round 20, Dim Machine, and you'll be fine. Now, the last tip in today's video is playing Fireteam Dirty Bomb. Now, I know this is boring, I know this is boring, but trust me, Fireteam Dirty Bomb is, by hands down, the fastest way to level up your guns in Cold War. I think I think it's like a it's over a two percent um increase of XP that you're going to be getting in this playlist. So if you guys can play Fire Team, I know it's boring, but a lot of people may not like this game mode. But it's the fastest way to level up your guns, and if you average thirty to sixty kills per game, you'll be leveling you'll be leveling up your gun so fast, and especially during double XP, you'll be leveling up your gun in an instant. So. Those are my tips and tricks for today's video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, a like rating and a subscription would be appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.